Hi, I'm Tiffany, and this is Towering TBR. So welcome back. This is episode five of my bingo card prompt. I started a TBR game starting in January, and I have a bingo board that corresponds with prompts. I draw them out, and some of them I've written to tackle specific uh, books, and others are have a much wider selection. So in this, this episode, I'm talking about books that have been adapted in some way. So I picked eight to talk about, and if I've talked about them in other videos, I might have decided to leave them out this time since I'm trying to highlight as many possibilities as possible. I don't have the first book, and so I don't want to forget, so I'll talk about it first. The first book that is adapted that I would like to read and then watch the movie is The Well of Loneliness by Radcliffe Hall. This was a book I highlighted on my classics I wanted to read, and there is also a very famous movie that was adapted from the book. I also have Firefly books. This is interesting because it wasn't a book first, it was actually the TV show first, and then it got some, some books. Um, but I loved the show Firefly. I'm a huge fan of science fiction in general, and I, I just love the space opera and the found family, and it's just awesome. So I have these books um, that I could use as the adapted prompt if I pick that. A book that has been adapted. I've seen bits and pieces of this movie, Train Spotting by Ir Irvine Welsh, and it's, it's really quite trippy, if I remember right. Um, but it t it's talking about a man who is struggling with addiction, and I might want something like this if I want a bit more chaos in my life. I have been wanting to read another Sarah Waters book um, pretty much since I put down the first one, and Tipping the Velvet is her debut novel, and it has been adapted into either a movie or a miniseries. I'm not entirely sure which one. She primarily writes like a historical fiction and it usually has some mystery element and the characters are just amazing. I'm, I'm excited to dive into another one of her books. And then I have Arrival. Um, that's what they called the movie. The, the book title is actually Stories of Your Life, right? Stories of Your Life and Others. So anyways, I, I have seen this movie. Um, but I thought it was amazing. I love the aliens. I love the language communication. I love everything about that short story. I want to read not only that short story, but the other ones that are in this collection. You can tell I'm in the mood for sci-fi since a lot of these are science fiction stories. But I've got some classics as well. In addition to The Well of Loneliness, I have The Grapes of Wrath, which has been famously adapted into a movie. I really want to read East of Eden, but I've been told that that's his best work, and to start lower, everybody says Grapes of Wrath is, is nearly as good. So I would want to maybe start this, um, especially because I try and implement having a classic every month. So that would make that job a little bit easier. I have Cold Comfort Farm by Stella Gibbons. This is supposed to be like a satire of rural English countryside and like the different personalities. And I've heard it's funny. So yeah, sign me up for a book that's gonna make me laugh. And my last classic is Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora, Zora Neale Hurston. And I think that having the movie might make this an, an easier book to read. I said in a previous video that I don't read dialect well, um, and there's a lot of dialect in this book. So audiobook is a must for me. But I have heard this is an amazing story and I would like to prioritize it. So those are the eight choices. Um, let me know your thoughts on them and what you think I should pick. Or if you've had a bad experience, tell me which ones to avoid. Uh, yeah. Do you always read the book before you watch the adaptation? I don't always do it, but I usually try. So looking forward to our chat down in the comments below. Thanks. Bye.